Hello everybody, Clive at 5 here bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary and this is a very special one for me. This is my 100th YouTube video so yeah I wanted to do something special for this occasion uh, but instead I just ended up getting these guys on the, on the call with me. I have Fusion with me. Hello. And also for the first time joining me on a StarCraft replay, Virtual Alex. Hey guys. So uh, just to uh, set the tone for this match here. Bound, we have in the bottom left-hand corner the Red Protoss versus none other than E.G. Hydra. Either you love him or you hate him, the bad-mannered, quick-tempered Zerg player. Blue, top left-hand corner. So how are you guys doing tonight? I don't think this is the real Hydra, Clive. You don't think so? He only has 165 APM. Well, that's funny because when I downloaded it from uh, Drop.sc, he was number one in Grandmaster. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if it goes up. He's All got right. the real. Maybe he's just taking it easy today. Maybe. It could be his first game of the day. Yeah. Do you want to keep rolling with this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep it natural. <laughs> let's do this. All right, so, uh, you know, Fusion, you and I were talking about Idra or Idra, I guess it's Idra, uh, at the most recent Barcraft and how he hasn't really made any big tournament appearances. Well, he's made appearances. He's just got knocked out early, so. So, well, what's the deal with that? He's number one in Grandmasters. Well, that's the ladder, and ladder means nothing according to Team Liquid. So, oh jeez. <coughs> Bottom line is Hydra's being robbed. Yep. Yeah. He, uh, well, you know, a lot of people talk about how he plays um, the same way every time, and well, not this game because normally he goes hatch first every game, no matter what. Yeah. This and now we're seeing a pool first, so. All right, so Alex, I wanted to ask you. You're sort of a also a quick-tempered, bad-mannered Zerg. Have you drawn any inspiration from Idra over the years? I uh, actually, absolutely. Idra is one of my role models. I love him, Do and I think he's got it all figured out. <laughs> so, That's yeah. fantastic. I mean, I'm obviously not anywhere near his skill level, but uh, I think that him telling Terran what's what is absolutely appropriate. <laughs> now, uh, Idra is scouting out the. I mean, the Overlord scouting is perfect there. He sees that natural go down. I'm guessing he'll probably take a quick third. That's pretty much the standard in uh, PvZ right now. Or ZVP, as it were. ZVP? Well, what gives you the. What makes you switch around the letters like that? Well, if we're talking about Hydra, then we're going to say ZVP. Oh, I see. Uh, now, Bound, uh, we none of us really know much about, though I have looked him up on Battle.net, and he seems to be fairly high up in just regular Masters. Uh, is it pretty regular for Masters-level players to be uh, playing against such high-level Grandmaster players? Well, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, there's only 200 uh, Grandmasters, so the player pool isn't that big to choose from, so you know the matchmaking system has... Uh, they actually adjusted it because some of the top players were seeing queue times of like two hours. Uh, so they actually made it a little bit easier for Grandmasters to get paired up with people below them. And you can see Eider there did take the quick third. And we're at 436 in the game, and he's already got a third on the way. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit behind because my computer staggers a little bit. And you guys are going to have to catch up or catch back to me. I'm at 425 right now, so uh, just try to rewind a little bit. Yeah, you're at 450. <laughs> All right, I will. Yeah, I know. My computer likes to choke a bit. So, uh, so I'm at 440 then. All right, well, I'm at 442. Okay. <laughs> well, close enough. Yeah, all right. Fusion, you can go now. All right. We're keeping this pro. We're keeping this real, so that's So fantastic. as you can see, the third is on the way now for <laughs> Hydra. Indeed, it is, and we're seeing, well, we saw a Forge Fast Expand from Bound. Definitely viable on this map, which is in Tomb Valley. Is that this one? Yep. Fantastic. What can now, you tell us about this map? Because I've only played, like maybe two games on this map. Well, that does have the nice wide choke there. Um, so it's, uh, you know, fast explains like this, this wall off that uh, Bound is doing is very, very typical for this map. Uh, we'll probably see Idris start working on the rocks there to open up a path to his third. Uh, and I'm just curious to see how Bound uh, responds because Bound, has Bound scouted out that base yet? He is not. Uh, but once he sees that the third is down, which he's probably expecting it is, uh, we, I just noticed he did start plus one as well as his warp gate. He could be doing an eight gate plus one all in. Uh, that's a definitely potential on this map. Well, Bound has scouted it now. That probe just peaked north and found that third base there. Uh, so how easy is that third base to defend? By the way, level one weapons are coming up for Bound. I wanted to point that out as well. 
Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough uh, for Idra to, Idra to defend with the rocks up. Uh, if he can get the rocks down, then it's a lot easier. Uh, but we're going to, looks like uh, Bound going to put on a couple, a uh, little bit of pressure with two Zealots. And then I'm guessing a forward pylon. And yeah, you can see Gates going down into space right now. He has, actually he's going to do a quick four gate. Uh, is what I'm guessing. A 4-gate plus 1 is actually pretty effective. It's not all in. Uh, and you can fall back and, and expand on that instead bound, of bound, gate, so. Bound is way behind on probes right now. Ooh, yeah. Definitely. And, and that's actually not, not a surprise. Um, Zerg uh, will generally try to go up to about 75 probes, and then they're going to start producing units. And Ider will probably do that as well. Yeah, with that larva inject, it's just crazy how quickly the Zerg can get more drones in the base. Couple of zealots actually moving in here. Uh, proxy pylons being planted down in Idra's third base. So uh, maybe trying to, well, actually canceling uh, one of those two pylons. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to make any headway there, but actually oh. almost able to take oh. down that queen. So close, the queen goes down. That, that is rough. devastating. Uh, but there are some spine crawlers in production here. Will the zealots be able to take those down as well? Yes, the spine crawlers are down. The roaches did pop though, and Eider's going to be safe at this point, believe it or not. Uh, that's enough roaches to kite the zealots endlessly on the creep there. Yeah. He and should leave I or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he should. Yeah, it's, the game's got a lot, a lot of time left, so we're not going to see an early GG. It looks like. Yeah, uh, you're not supposed to spoil how much time is left in the game. <laughs> You know, they have that little down-down arrow thing there for a reason. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I thought so you yeah, used to come in. I'd are actually in pretty good shape. Um, if you look at that harvester count right now, um, he did lose some harvesters, but really about even with Protoss. So it's really, I would say that attack was kind of a wash. Look how, right now, Vaughn has like five sentries. That's it. Well, yeah, and he's going to have to be able to keep those roaches out for a little while. Because uh, he doesn't really have a whole lot to actually fight the roaches, aside from, well, <laughs> you told me Fusion recently that they call the uh, the sentries little beams tickling. Tickle cannons, yeah. Tickle cannons. <laughs> yep. And yeah, the counterattack from Ida right here is going to be pretty, it should be pretty effective here. There's not enough sentries really to provide endless force fields, and the roaches are going to head up. Well, I don't know what time frame you're at right now, but... I'm at 10-12... Roaches, a uh, couple roaches inside the base. That's just perfect act for right now. Look at what, what Eider's doing here. Fantastic targeting down the sentries. Uh, every sentry you can kill, uh, the better shape he's going to be in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to kill those sentries, otherwise, they just make free energy. And it looks like Bound does have Blink done now, so he'll be able to micro through those roaches pretty good. Uh, but. Really, that attack was nothing for Idra. In fact, look at the harvester count now. Wow. Yeah. It's up to 74. 74, 75 is that magic number. Uh, they say that's the Dong Regu number. <laughs> the Dong uh, Regu. Yeah, I heard yes, that a lot. Best drug in the world, yes. Uh, and now Idra's supply will start to skyrocket. Yep, even taking a fourth. I'm at 11.11 right now. Sorry, I had another little tiny freeze. Well, uh, we were actually uh, talking about um. Oh yeah, Dong Ragu. At the, yeah, he was uh at the at the bar craft. Barcraft. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, tell me about Don Ragu. I'm not familiar. Success for this. Don Ragu is the current number one Zerg in the world. No kidding. Yeah. So is my new hero. When you look at yes. Him. Yeah, he's he's pretty amazing. Um, his uh his micro is fantastic and his macro is also fantastic. He's it's got true. like 300 APM. In fact, I'm going to check. Good old Idra right now is at 189. Yes. Um, uh. However, Dong Regu, this past winter ML, what is it? MLG uh, Winter Arena. Champion. No, Winter Championship. Was uh, defeated by. Well, maybe I shouldn't spoil it. Eh, it's been a couple weeks if you haven't seen it it's by now. Funny. What's Rain that? King Just Prime, pick him out. Yep. So. Alex, I know you stopped playing for a while because you were upset with Terran, especially Marines. But uh, this guy is absolutely insane with his Marine Micro. Yeah. 
if there's a Terran who knows how to use Marines, then it's completely unstoppable. <laughs> well, Brong Regu uh, can give him a run for his money, but and yeah. we you can see Idris or uh, Idra. I'll never get over that. Uh, is at uh, 150 supply now, and you can see he's really starting to accelerate ahead of Bound. And Bound, not he's only winning now till he's getting Colossus. He has no uh, units that have AOE out on the field right now. Uh, if Itter decided just to bash in his front door right now, I don't know if Bound can stop it. Actually, Itter does not have any roaches either. Yeah, I'm only seeing a big clump of uh, Zerglings out and about. Uh, but I don't think they're able to penetrate with, uh, I mean, there's just a big ball of Protoss, yeah. and as long as they sit at the front and, you know, they can't get surrounded. Yeah, those Zerglings won't be able to get in, um, at all. He would really need roaches or something else to, to really push the front there. Now, you mentioned that, uh, Protoss doesn't have any, uh, AoE yet, but, uh, really Colossus is the only, uh, Protoss unit that actually does any AoE, is that correct? Well, no, storm. that's correct. High Templar. Oh, High Templar with the Storm, that's right. Yes. Oh, and Archons. And Ar Silly me. They do. Yes. So, yeah, no one's making Archons, though. Oh, yeah, they are. Archons are super popular now. Are they? Yeah, yeah the Zealot Archon. Well, I'm happy to hear that, actually. Oh, and Eater Force to cancel, and that's uh, really what... I, if you're at 1508 <laughs> now, are you at 1508? No, I'm at 1455, but yeah, it's All right. pretty easy to see yeah, that the cancel was uh, inevitable there. Man, your computer really is slow. Yeah, I know. I need. Where are you to, at now? Uh, fifteen twelve. Okay, good. I'm back with you now. So yeah, anytime uh, Zerg can do that, can go force to cancel like that, that puts Protoss behind by a lot. And actually, look at the harvester count now. Idra at 90, 90 drones. Look at this. I mean, Idra has four bases just fully going. Now what you'll notice, uh, once Iters gets enough money stockpiled here, what he'll actually do is he'll make probably uh, like 20 or 30 spine crawlers, remake units, and then cancel the spine crawlers to get at 140 supply, or 240 supply. Sort of the advanced version of the gas trick. Exactly, yep. You'll see mass spines go down, and then they'll all get canceled. Um, are you are you speculating, or are you saying that's going to happen for sure? I, I'm, I'm, you can I'm, I'm pretty... Positive, it'll happen if the game goes on long enough. If uh, if the Protoss leaves him alone that long, that's what it'll do, and he'll make brew lords and a lot of them. <laughs> I like what you're saying here. If you're like the, the Nostradamus of Starcraft right now, <laughs> right. If I see that I'm gonna be impressed. Uh, excellent. Now you said now, this actually kind of took me by surprise. Uh, well, he actually already, Idra already has a bunch of brew lords out and a bunch of infest infestors too. Uh, but you were you were telling me that uh, about this Archon toilet and. I mean, to be honest, I have, yes. I've been out of the game, well, out of the pro scene too long, except for the couple of bar crafts that we went to, uh, to actually see this being implemented. So tell us a little bit about the Archon Toilet. Well, the Archon Toilet has been nerfed several times because it's so awesome, but it's still is fairly effective. And what happens is uh, Protoss will go for a mothership, and they will dump a bunch of uh, Archons in the... Um, which, by the way, is being in the vortex. Right now. Yeah, I noticed noticed that uh, he's got the fleet beacon. Ah, there it is from the third there. Um, yeah, the mothership uh, will vortex and try to suck in as many Zerg units as possible, and then the Protoss player will also send all of his Archons into the toilet. Uh, when the units come out of the toilet, because the Archons splash damage, uh, they can one-shot a lot of the Zerg units. Uh, instantly with uh, you know five or six archons and is that just because all the units are localized and yep, so they all clumped up when they come out of the vortex and they actually uh, make they blizzard at one point made all the units that come out of the vortex immune for like two seconds uh, to give them a chance to spread out a little bit is that still uh, the case it's still like yeah it's the case now but it doesn't spread them out enough to really uh, completely stop the archons from doing a lot of damage so we can we'll definitely be seeing a vortex we've got a mothership Yep, mothership's out, and it is at 200 supply, and you can see he's floating 3,000 minerals right now, uh, and he'll probably at some point start to do that Jeez. spine crawler trick. Yeah, I mean he already has a bunch of spine crawlers just yeah. out on the map. I mean if you look yep. at near the uh, the watchtower there, they're just all flocking in. Here's I'm a question though: Why would he even cancel them? Why don't we just leave the spine crawlers? I mean he's because got you can resupply with units. Yeah, but I mean you might as well just leave the spine crawlers. Well, if your army's bigger, then, you know, if you have a 240 supply army against a Protoss army that's 200, 
You should have a pretty big advantage. Yeah, but I mean, you can have that army and still leave the spine crawlers. Like, canceling seems like. See, he's not even canceling them, he's just letting them get built. Yeah, right now he's just building more, yeah. That seems better. I mean, if you got so much money, why even, like, what do you need the drones for? Well. I guess, you know, if he loses the battle against the Proto. Oh, were you watching down. <laughs> the attack on uh, on Bound's fifth? That next yeah. is down to 124 health. That was crazy. <laughs> and see, we've got five Archons now in Bound's army. It's a clutch blink, and he made sure not to show that he had a mothership there, but, well, Idra probably already knows. Yeah, he he's, probably knows. He's Idra. Oof. This Pro Protoss army looks invincible from where I'm looking. <laughs> Well, I don't know. There's lots of broodlords, and they there are. But man, I'm telling you what. <laughs> if I was Zerg and I saw that, I quit. <laughs> no, it's really going to come down to, uh, to well, two things: uh, fungal growth. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if he does, he have neural parasite done? Oh. That's a huge question, because he can actually mind control that. That uh, he does have uh, neural parasite. He can actually yeah. mind control that mothership and vortex the Protoss's own units if he is quick. Is Idra over 200 and we just can't see, or... No, it'll show if he's over 200. So he's right at 200 right now? Yep. Yep. Well, after all those spine crawlers, he didn't even go... Yep. Now see him throwing down all the... Look at all the spines he's throwing down now. I'm at 2130. <laughs> oh, I better stop. Okay, here goes the... Oh, okay. Uh, tell me when you're at 2150. The battle's about to begin here. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. 2149... Well, 2150. Here we go. Here we go. Mothership moving in. And Holy casting shit. that vortex before it has the opportunity to get mind controlled, uh, so indeed that part worked out. In, uh, and Iter doing a good job of keeping his units spread out. You can see he's got Broodlord spread out quite a bit, uh, and so the vortex not not going to do too much damage. And now we'll probably see the mind control wow. start. Maybe not. No mind controls actually. That was actually. He's, he doesn't have detection. He's getting destroyed. Yeah, he's right. He doesn't have detection. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, and he did a great job of taking out all those infestors. In I, I don't know if the Archon toilet is supposed to work for infestors, but man, those Archons just melted a clump of infestors when they came out of that vortex. Yeah. So Who won that battle. <laughs> I love him. Uh, you know he's right. He's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. So we're actually seeing now that Bound has more harvesters than Idra does, uh, and that uh, harvester rate is actually <laughs> in Bound's or the yeah the resource income rate is higher for Bound than it is for Idra. That's we got a little drop on uh, um, the si sixth base. Yeah, sixth base. <laughs> the two o'clock location. Yeah, a bunch of uh, dark Templar. Uh, exploiting the fact that Idra doesn't have any detection yet. He does have his uh, other bases covered, though. So oh, okay, I see. Should be good to go. The DTs will go down pretty quick there, uh, trying to attack that base. Yeah, so many spine crawlers. And wow, so you know how Idra once had like 4K in the bank? Now, guess who has 4K in the bank? Well, 3K in the bank. Bound and Idra is broke. Both players at about eh, 170, 180 supply. So this is not uh, in favor of any one player at this point. Well, it's more in, I guess, more in favor of Bound. This Zerg needs more buffs. Plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we throw Zerg a bone, guys. Come on. We can see Protoss getting more and more Archons at this point. And Archons with 3 3 do. Uh, 47 damage versus Zerg units. Oh, just sounds awful. Oh, uh, wow. So at this point, as a Protoss player, what's your what's your strategy? Just continue to build? I mean, he's almost at max supply. He is at max supply. You just move. I think just the goal really is to try to just... Uh, you got to attack move. A move. <laughs> a move. And look at all the mind controls oh. going off on the Archons, though. Oh. We got some really bad news for Protoss. Oh, no, we got raped. That is rough. By we, I mean we the Zerg. <laughs> we collectively just got raped by that Vortex. Yeah, that was an, a really great Vortex. We'll see if you, uh, if Bound is able to take out all those uh, Infestors again once they pop out. And... Oh, get that fucking mothership, get it! <laughs> Don't let it get away! Mind control that 
And Ender is actually in really good shape now. He's got a lot of Broodlords, and you can see that he, he can chain Fungals at this point. So, he, I mean, how many Broodlords is that? That is a lot. Well, let's check the army. God, that is a lot. 19 here. Yep, 19. But doesn't he need more Infestors to... Well, I think... Not really, I mean, if he, he just... eight Infestors. If he has, like, nothing but air right now, he'd be in pretty good shape. Uh, and you can see he's got more Corruptors coming out at this point, too. Yeah, I mean... Because he nullifies a Colossus, and then kind of nullifies the Mothership, too. Another minor drop happening in one of Idra's mini bases. Oh. Wow, actually, that's lots of Zealots popping out here. Uh, might actually be able to do some damage. He's building about 30 spine crawlers there. Look at all the Infestors, though. They're going to start uh, kicking out Infested Terrans there. He's going to fungal it's someday. It's there he goes. Wasted energy, but... I think he wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> uh, he was not. Now he's losing all his infestors. Come on, Idra. I look up to you. <laughs> wow, and these... Yeah, they're big attack going on now at the front. Wow, those 3-3 three, three Zealots don't play. Look at, how, look at them. They're, they're not dying. Oh my god. Fairly ineffective vortex there. Oh, there's a fight going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching these zealots tear apart my my homeboy's base. <laughs> Ader got the mothership. The with the mind control. Well, he had it for a second there. Yeah. Got away. Oh my god! What beats that Protoss? What beats that? What do you need? Like three armies? Well, basically, yeah. You need to uh, resupply, and Ader not does not have the money to do that right now. Oh yeah. my and god! This is looking bad for my hero. He's about half the uh, the income here. Well. Of bound, and that's not good. And bound is on one, two. Well, he's actually only mining from one, two, three, four bases, and a fifth ready to go. Uh, which is more than can be said for Idra, who has five bases total and is only mining from three of those. Can't seem to keep another expansion. Some really good fungals going off though on the army there of bound. If you're at 2940, I'm just about 2937. Couple storms going off, but Idra doing a good job dodging them. Well, and Idra actually in a really good position right now. Wow. Beating Backbound's army pretty good. The mothership about to go down. There it is. Crash that bitch. Oh. And Idra can definitely break this now with all that those like lords. A, that was like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy the that Death was, Star. That was better than Star Wars right there. <laughs> wow. So do you think Idra actually has the upper hand here where I mean, even though he's behind on income and his army is way yeah. has nothing well, here's in the, the bank. Thing. Protoss is most dangerous when they're knocking on your door, and right now they are very far from Eider's front door. Uh, Eider's done a nice job of pushing out on the map, and you know he's really got he has map presence. I mean, if you look at the map, the creep is on almost half the map. That's Eider's true. Way ahead right now. Look at the food. It's it's, it's 190 to 150, and on top of that, 25 of those are more probes. Or not anymore. Well, it went way up, but Protoss had a lot of probes tied up in his food. So it was the army was different. And once again, we're seeing a large zealot army moving north to try to take some out fungals off. Get some fungals off. There we go. Idris expansion. A little call that zealot harass. Wow. And they say Protoss has no harassing units. Look at these zealots. Well, <laughs> late game Protoss does with zealots, but yeah, those zealots are doing really God, well. Those are tough as nails. Look at them. It's like, uh... Wow. You're gonna try to... Oh, actually, just... uh, a lot of his uh, Brutalor has taken quite a bit of damage from those Blink Stalkers. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Zealots, for some reason, electing to run away from that uh, 12 o'clock base, even though they can easily be taking it out right now, but getting distracted in the middle of this fight uh, against Broodlords, and you know how Zealots versus Broodlords ends up. <laughs> Are they going to be able to take down this base? It looks like it's going to happen. Idra, Idra now just on one and I guess a half mining bases if you want to count that nine o'clock base. He's really got to move out like right now to do some serious damage. But the only problem is now he's at 160 supply and he does not have any money. Where Bound is pretty much maxed out. 
Yep, and has plenty. He's not even he's not even mining from that bottom right hand Hitter base. Doing a good job with the positioning of the brood lords there, getting nice fungals off on those blink stalkers, and all the blink stalkers are actually going to probably go down here. If he loses them, uh, he's going to be in really big trouble. The brood lords he's are taking uh, quite a beating three. right now. Yeah, he's taking wow. a really big beating right now, and trying to warp in, but. The Broodlords do so much damage. The Infestors are coming in behind. We're going to see Fungal Growths go off on all those Stalkers. And uh, I think Bounce in really big trouble here. Look at the supply now. Wow. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Yeah, not... Wow. Man. <laughs> oh, we got a Mothership. That'll get mind controlled in a second here. That's all I can say is wow. Yep, now the Mothership is Idra's. <laughs> I am at 34.30. And Bound, GG's it. We all think this game is stupid. Bound is not the game. Nice. Wow. That was crazy. I like that. So even if you have all the mining bases on the map and have a huge army... It, uh, yep. The game's still stupid. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. What a perfect ending. Yeah, that was fantastic. Well, thanks, guys, for commentating that, my 100th YouTube video with me. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, thanks. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.